The Las Vegas Raiders have officially hired Antonio Pierce, uh, a move that we kind of saw coming over the past two or three days, uh, specifically today where uh, Antonio Pierce's agent was seen at the Raiders facility this morning. Uh, so Adam Schefter has officially reported it, so it does not get more official than this. The Raiders have hired Antonio Pierce as their head coach. Antonio Pierce will be the guy for the Las Vegas Raiders, and I, I think this just made a ton of sense. I think this made a ton of sense from the aspect that the players clearly wanted Antonio Pierce. Um, the guys clearly stepped up. And, you know, you can even go all the way back to right after the Lions came, right after the Raiders actually decided to change course from Josh McDaniels, from Dave Ziegler. They got rid of those guys. And uh, they made interim head coach Antonio Pierce, the guy, right? They, at that point, they said, you're going to be the guy. And, you know, some people speculate, hey, maybe it'll be Mick Lombardi, the offense coordinator at that time. Maybe it'll be Patrick Graham or Rob Ryan. It was the linebackers coach. It's kind of crazy to think. And uh, the season was over back then, right? Let's just be honest. The season was over. And Antonio Pierce came there along, and, and he gave us a little bit of hope. Uh, he came along. He made some key changes, in my opinion, that did benefit the Raiders, uh, things like, you know, going from Jimmy Garoppolo to A. McConnell, although A. McConnell wasn't that that good, let's just be honest, uh, it did make the players play a little bit better, right? It, it put more emphasis on the defensive side. It, it put emphasis on uh, trying to protect the football, not turn the ball over and those type of things, and, and just be a conservative team. And uh, we said the defense has to win us these games. And then Antonio Pierce said, Matt and Coons, you're the full-time starter at this point. Jerry Taylor is no longer going to play defense man, which is something that he was doing at the beginning of the season. Uh, Tyree Wilson snaps uh, came down a little bit, and, and Malcolm Coons got those snaps, and the guy broke out. Uh, we went out and we picked up Jack Jones, which was a guy that Antonio Pierce had worked with in the past. And generally speaking, the team seemed happier, right? Cigars after win, basketball in the locker room. Uh, guys definitely looked happier. Guys that I've spoken to definitely backed up AP as the coach. And Max Crosby has been vocal about it. Devontae Adams, among other guys, have been vocal about Antonio Pierce being the coach. And it's official now. Antonio Pierce will be the Las Vegas Raiders head coach as we go forward. Now, it hasn't officially been announced, but we can just assume that a lot of the same staff will be coming. Uh, guys like Patrick Ram, guys like Rob Leonard will continue to be on that defensive side and, and do its thing. Uh, on the offense side, it's going to be where the question mark is going to, going, going to kind of lie. You know, uh, the Raiders, when that actually happened, when the Raiders actually uh, came into the offseason, um, the Raiders, Mark Davis told the Raiders coaches, go ahead and look for work. But at the same time, he blocked Patrick Graham from possibly leaving. And that should have kind of gave us a hint right then and there that there's a good chance Antonio Pierce will come back. Uh, there's a good chance that the offensive side will ultimately flip. And then we saw the Giants take our offensive line coach. And uh, we're at the point now where we need to figure out the offensive coordinator position. And we've heard some reports. We've heard some rumors. Uh, Ian Rapport actually reported it saying that uh, uh, when Antonio Pierce got the job, this was about 20 minutes ago. He said when Antonio Pierce got the job, uh, the offensive side of the ball, most of those coaches won't be retained, right? So we're looking at, uh, our offensive line coach last season, coming into this season, uh, Carmen Brasillo, he wasn't going to be retained, so he went out and, and got that job, right? Uh, we had already fired Mick Lombardi, but uh, Bo Hardegree probably isn't coming back, right? Hardegree will probably go somewhere else as well. And the list just kind of goes on and on. You know, you can go look at the running backs coach. You can go look at the wide receivers coach. Uh, although some guys may be back, I think most guys will not be back. And the Raiders are going to have to figure that out. Antonio Pierce will have to go out and do his interviews. Some people have talked about Cliff Kingsbury possibly being the Raiders offensive coordinator. I would absolutely love that. Uh, but Kingsbury has the opportunity to go anywhere. There's no team that does not have an offensive coordinator that does not want Cliff Kingsbury. That The, the Bears want Cliff Kingsbury. And the, uh, if he goes to the Bears, they can easily take whichever quarterback they want. Uh, Kingsbury has the connection with Caleb Williams. People have speculated that. It would make sense for him to go to the Bears where they've built a pretty good roster. Uh, they just need a quarterback and a guy to run the offense. And that makes sense for the Bears because their coach is a defensive guy. And their defense has been pretty good. So it might not be Kingsbury, but it could be a guy like Frank Smith, who's with the Dolphins. He's uh, their offensive coordinator, but he actually isn't going to end up getting... Uh, he, he doesn't call the play. So for him, it makes sense to go somewhere where he could call the plays, where he could run the play, uh, the offense, and those type of things. 
it's a completely different different direction, man. Uh, I am excited for it. Obviously, a lot of us have speculated that there were other coaches out there that the Raiders could have possibly gotten. Uh, some people wanted Jim Harbaugh. Some people wanted uh, Bobby Slowick, who was my pick. And I won't hide from the fact that I said the Raiders should take Bobby Slowick and they should make him the head coach. Uh, even over AP. And I will, I, I will say that, that I stated that. Um, and I'm not disappointed that we kept AP, right? Obviously, AP is a good coach in himself. Uh, AP could easily be the next Mike Vrabel. Right? Mike Vrabel had success. Dan Campbell is having success. Those guys are defensive guys. Those guys aren't, you know, necessarily the X's and O's and the play callers. And, uh, you know, we're super s- smart in that aspect. And we're going to revolutionize the game of football. But they fire people up. And I think those guys can definitely win. Uh, we've seen Harbaugh with the Ravens do it. We've seen Mike Tomlin with the Steelers do it. Uh, these guys aren't offensive guys. And I think the Raiders can have success. If Antonio Pierce can kind of continue to uh, replicate what we did this past season, plus we got to get the offense current. And I think that's, that cannot be understated. Uh, the Raiders have to figure out who their offensive coordinator is going to be as we go forward. They got to make sure that they hit with that. You know, if, uh, and, and this is just the facts of it, Antonio Pierce will have about two to three years to prove himself. And if his offensive coordinator pick is the wrong pick, uh, let's say, for example, Antonio Pierce, uh, hired Bo Hardegree as the offense coordinator. And let's say he's not very good. And let's say they went out and drafted Aiden O'Connell with the fourth overall pick. And let's say he's not that good. Um, a- a- Antonio Pierce after two years is going to be fired. All right. So, you know, I, I cannot underestimate, I cannot understate how important it is that Antonio Pierce has to get the offense coordinator, make sure whoever's going to call the plays, uh, is going to do a good job and, and more than just do a good job. Uh, the guy has to, you know, the guy has to be, a football mind. He has to be able to get guys wide open. You know, in in today's NFL, and this is my honest opinion, uh, John Gruden running an offense is good, but it's not good enough, right? In today's NFL, uh, there's coaches out there that are good, but it might not be good enough because the Kyle Shanahan's and Sean McVay's and Mike McDaniel's exist. And what I mean by that is these guys revolutionize the, the offensive side of football, right? They'll add all these new little twists and elements, right? Sean McVay, uh, not that teams didn't run the wide zone because they did, but Sean McVay came in and he lined up in the same formation every single play, like 98% of the time. And they had the number one offense. They just continuously ran the wide zone. They continuously got these linebackers sucked in, play action off of it. Uh, and they had a lot of success. And Kyle Shanahan utilized that same formula. Shanahan obviously has a whole other element to it. And now Mike McDaniel came and he's added like this completely new wrinkle to like that Kyle Shanahan um that scheme that, you know, the, the Shanahan scheme that's kind of been designed, he's added an even bigger element to it, right? Which is like the speed element of, you know, motions. And, you know, I'm not knocking John Deere, but my point is, is the offensive coordinator for the Raiders is going to determine the success of the Raiders, in my opinion. Uh, it is also interesting because Champ Kelly has not officially been, uh, he hasn't officially, it hasn't officially came out that he's still going to be the Raiders general manager. Uh, I haven't actually seen anything come out yet that Champ Kelly is the GM. For the Raiders, but we'll see if that actually ends up being confirmed within the next day or two. Uh, I do think it is kind of interesting if you guys think about it that Champ Kelly has not been hired because that means there's a chance the Raiders are looking a different direction with the general manager position. So uh, we'll see what ends up happening. Could it be uh, you know Ed Dodds of the Colts? Uh, could it be someone else? Right? Uh, I think uh, Mark has talked to a couple of people, so we'll see what ends up happening. But uh, it is official. Antonio Pierce is the Las Vegas Raiders head coach. Uh, congratulations to AP, man. Great dude. Deserves it. And uh, let's look forward to the draft, the offseason, and let's look forward to the Raiders just having success, man. Uh, I'm fired up for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.